What's up? Got another mail day. Is this like a box? It's not a box. This is pipe mail, round two. Yeah, so if you've seen the first video, you'll know that I uh, received a couple of autographs that were... The one was okay, the David Prowse slash James Earl Jones. The other one... The Robert De Niro, with chocolate on it, fucking autographed or scraped, and I wasn't a very happy camper. So this is part two of that, because in my anger, I completely forgot that there was supposed to be two more autographs in there. Robert Davey, who plays one of the Fratelli brothers in Goonies, and uh, James Tolkien. Funny enough, if you remember my story at the beginning of my last video, I finally got a James Tolkien from Mr. Pipe. So, Billy Betts, you son of a bitch. Thank you for sending me these. I bought these on Labor Day. It's Sunday before Labor Day, actually. And, uh, yeah, just got this in today. My Charlotte Pipe mailer. Look, Charlotte Pipe. I, I don't make this shit up. It's cut off, but I know the company because of the last pipe that I got sent. Who the fuck sends stuff in these? So, that means I got more rolled up shit in here. I can't wait. Let's see what these look like. Ron, are you opening that with players? Yeah, I am. Because there's not really a good way to go about opening pipe mail. Like, when you take this to the post office, do they get nervous? Like, what are you sending in a pipe? Should we x-ray this? Do you do you have to tape the end of it while you're there? Do they say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop rolling up autograph photos and put them in a top loader and stop being a fucking chooch? Because if they don't, they should. They should say that. Again, as just like the last video, I apologize, but... I have to open these on there. I, I want the frustration to be felt the whole fucking time. Oh. I see a glimpse. Let's get the players in there. Yeah. 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 Oh. I busted. I busted through the cardboard cap. Son of a bitch. There we go. We're in, folks. Okay, there they are. There is shit in there. We'll see. I hope these these appear to be in better condition. Like just looking at the edge of them, I don't see frayed corners. Um, I, there could be chocolate. Maybe well, let's see if we got any snacks with these. They're not jammed in there like the other one. The other one I had to pry and pull out. These ones came out pretty simple. So this seems maybe more promising. Let's see what this is. Okay, we got James Tolkien here. I presume you can read this. James Tolkien. It's not the best marker in the world. I believe it's paint pen. And the pen's a little cakey. I like it, though. I'm not going to overly bitch about it. It's, again, it beats the, uh, the other ones that I got. This one, uh, there's that. See, I'm talking like, I don't know how well you can see it, but like the auto on the edge and the writing on some of the, where he wrote Marshall Strickland, you can kind of see where it's like gunked up a little bit. But overall, I like it. This is, this is in line with what I expected to get. So we're one for one on these as far as buying what I thought I was buying. I still don't appreciate it being rolled up, but... There's only so many times I can beat that fucking horse. Yep. Bear with me, I'm getting my other pipe photo. Okay. These also seem odd cut. And it could be because it's rolled up, and I'm not used to the look at it rolled up photos, but it's supposed to be an 8x10, and it feels slightly small. Unfortunately... I don't have anything to compare it to. Way to come prepared, dickhead. 
I have the two photos the same size? Let's try that. All right. The two photos are the same size. I guess that's a start. So here we have uh, Jake Fratelli, Robert Davey, autographed up there. Same style paint pen. Um, it's a little, it's a little blobby because the, 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 the point of the marker is probably a little too thick for the way he wrote. So it's kind of blobbed a little bit, but these were, these were good deal photos. Like if I opened, if I opened this first, I wouldn't be ready to be pissed off for a second video. Like I was with this one, like I was ready to be mad because I, uh, the last video, the last video set this up for, like, I was ready for, I don't know, it to be torn into pieces, maybe somebody wiped their ass across it, a dog scooted across or something, who knows, I was ready for just about anything after the last fucking ordeal, so yeah, these on their own, not bad, what's bad, let's review, watch the first video, so if, you, if I keep referencing the first video, if you haven't seen the first video, go watch that, because that's a doozy, um, on it, in its own contained video, I'm pretty happy with those autographs, especially because I, they, they were a good deal price-wise. Um, they're not the best autos I've ever seen, but for the price, I'm not going to overly complain about them. The, the photo quality is decent. There's nothing on them. It's not frayed edges. They're in, they're in good shape. Um, I will never understand this. What the fuck? On what planet... Does anybody think I'm going to roll your photos up and jam them in PVC pipe and mail them to you? I don't get it. I'll never get it. And if your excuse is, well, the photos are already rolled up and this protects well. That's great. I could probably m mail things a bunch of different ways that would technically protect well, but you just don't do it. And mailing shit in fucking plumbing equipment is re goddamn ridiculous. And the elephant in the room is, I ordered these a fucking month ago. Where the fuck have you been, Billy Bats? I saw on Facebook the other day, you're fucking chasing somebody else down. Answer your emails, answer your emails. Are you fucking kidding me? You're the definition of hypocrisy. Stupid, too. Stop fucking sending things in fucking PVC pipe answer people and mail shit out when they pay very promptly and don't be a fucking clown.